All right, all our steps are completed. Our next target is to do some testing. What we're gonna do is uh, first check if our replication is working right now, and then we're going to fade over our availability group and then see that uh, if it still works. So I'm gonna go back up here. Let's take a look on replication. Here's our uh, publication right here. Let's go ahead and uh, fire up replication monitor. Here's our replication monitor. This is the publication and it's running. Let's take a look on view detail. As you can see that uh, uh, replication is working fine. So we're gonna do some testing. Let's open the database right here and take a look on the records here. Uh, right now we have one record in table one what we're gonna do is uh, take a look on our subscriber this is our subscriber it should have that record as well this is the database and I'm going to select the records alright it has one record now we're gonna go ahead and uh, on our publisher side um, add another record and see if gets replicated up here so go to the right click and add it 200 rows add Amir Shahzad and put phone number right here alright saved let's take a look on the this is our publisher so all right so we have another record let's take a look on our subscriber whether that record is there too just to show you that we're connected with our subscriber execute this and that record is there so our replication right now is working fine I'm gonna close this and our next test is to fail over our availability group right now uh, this is our primary replica right here so I'm going to fail over uh, the availability group right here. So fail over, accept the data loss, next, and connect to, this will become our primary replica now, New York cluster, New York SQL prod, connect, next, finish, look at the detail. Once it's completed, I'm going to go ahead and resume the uh, data movement between uh, primary replica and secondary replica and then after that we will take a look on our replication if everything is working fine on that let's go ahead and close this refresh this this should become secondary as you can see alright let's go ahead and resume the data movement this again I have to do this because my SQL servers are in cluster mode All right, that's completed. Now, let's go ahead and open our subscriber and take a look on our replication. Fire up replication monitor. It's running, view detail. All right, everything is running so far, so I'm going to basically add another, go to our primary replica, which is New York. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look on the database. Here's the database. Let's take a look on the, these are two records. What we're going to do this time, we're gonna edit this and delete this record and see if it uh, gets deleted on our subscriber as well keep in mind the availability group is failed over so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this record record is deleted so let's go ahead and run this and as you can see that it the record is deleted on our primary replica which is uh, this at this moment so let's go and take a look on our 
and as you can see that on subscriber this is our subscriber there is one record so let's go ahead and add another record just to run another test so go to our primary replica database and I'm going to edit and I'm going to do up here George last name Bailey and phone number is this all right this is our primary replica so let's go ahead and run this we have two records let's go to our subscriber and select and we have two records so our replication is working really fine basically this is how you set up your replication when um, during availability group we have run some tests um, everything went fine uh, these are the steps that I have taken and these steps will be posted on our website so you can follow the step all you need to do is basically change your distributor right here the names publisher names database name everything uh, up here this is important share uh, one good practice that I wanted to tell you that when you create this share um, try to create this share on remote distributor because um, uh, and share it with um, the uh, user that you create so you won't have any issue access issue accessing this particular share so this is mandatory and other part I wanted to repeat is um, make sure that all the link server that you uh, supposed to have on primary all secondary and distributor uh, the connection gets successful and I m this is my own opinion uh, in order to avoid a lot of uh, access issues and link server issues I have used SQL server um, account and in my case it was SA but uh, you can use any SQL server account that has system admin privilege usually replication is set by uh, DBAs and DBAs uh, usually do have a system sysadmin uh, or they have SQL Server user that has sysadmin uh, for just dedicated to replication and I hope this video helps